Hello! Welcome to BaseQL. I want to showcase a few of the new stuff that we have prepared for you. Let's start with a simple base of national parks from different states. Now then log in to BaseQL. We don't have any bases added whatsoever to our dashboard. Let's add a new data source and click on our table free plan. Now you can add any Airtable table base without the need for a pro account. So any kind of plan will do. Let's click there. After adding our API key, let's fetch bases and select the one we are looking for, which is national parks. Now we have a full-fledged GraphQL interface, which we can just query. We can get the name of national parks and also the name of the states. There you go. Really easy. There are other features we have recently introduced, such as the ability to have protected secret key token authentication and enable mutations, create, update, and delete data. Let's save this. This is still working here because it's authenticated, but if we try to open from an external source, it will say not authorized. Let's disable those. We have a full-fledged documentation on the right side. You can see everything that this endpoint is capable of, all for free. If you click on base info, you can refresh the database, the base in case you have made changes in the Airtable base. Remember, you can still use BaseQL directly in Airtable using our Airtable app that you can find in the marketplace. As easy as that. See that our next big feature. Probably you already noticed, but we now support Google Sheets Beta. So we have a sample sheet here. We just need to copy the URL and paste it in the BaseQL interface. Afterwards, it will ask you for your authorization for BaseQL to access that data. Let's click Continue. Great, now we can query a Google Sheet. Nice. There are other features such as querying, filtering, advanced DSL, sorting, and pagination that you can find in our documentation. We're looking forward for you to enjoy and have fun using BaseQL. Thank you.